sometimes in the SAM server, uh, MySQL software will not start pro properly because of the issues regarding the port number. If another application of your computer is already using the same port number which is used by the MySQL but while during the installation process, then the MySQL software does not work properly. So if you try to start the PHP MyAdmin from MySQL, you will get error message and we will not be able to start the MySQL from XAM control panel. Go to the config option of MySQL and go to my.ini file. So there we can modify the port number which is used by MySQL during the installation process. The default port number which is used by MySQL is 3306. So that can be changed. So we are making it to 4306. Yes, there are two places where you have to make changes in the port number 4306. We made the change to 4306. Then after that, you need to save the file. And start. Now we can see that the MySQL has been started with the port number as 4306. Now go to the browser and start the PHP MyAdmin localhost slash PHP MyAdmin. You can see still is not connecting. It's not able to connect to the MySQL. It's again showing the error. So in order to solve that, you have to go to see uh, the wherever XAM server is installed, go to the XAM server and go to PHP MyAdmin folder. So going to PHP MyAdmin folder and click on config.inc file, config.inc file. So there you have to include one more line of command, which is required to be mentioned with the new port number. So you take the command dollar cfg server i port equal to 4306. So you mention the command dollar cfg servers i port equals the new port number which we have mentioned 4306. Now save the config.inc file which is there in PHP MyAdmin folder. And from the control panel we can restart the MySQL once again we can stop the MySQL and start again and go to PHP MyAdmin. Now we can see that we are able to connect to PHP MyAdmin. So in this PHP MyAdmin, we can create new database. Within the database, we can create new tables. So from database option, we are creating a new database, which is named as test. Click on create button. So, so test is already available. So we are creating as test one. Test one is the database name. So we can see the database has been created. Within this database, we can create the tables we can manage our databases by using PHP MyAdmin. If you're able to solve the errors regarding the port number issue of MySQL in XAM server, kindly comment below.